Wizard Nips. Hi kids, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Wagon number two. Doing this one just a little bit different. Uh, I like this radio flyer. It's got some nice rust, a little bit of patina. Uh, it's got some character. So I am going to do, um, I'm actually gonna do bolt on uh, instead of weld on for the two pieces of frame that are gonna go on the wagon itself. I'm gonna put bigger wheels on the back that I got off of a golf cart uh, bag carrier. I'll show you those a little later. But one thing I did that you might wanna consider is I made a template, because uh, I'm going 16 in the back, and this time I'm gonna uh, go eight in the front, and that's gonna give me more of a turning radius, and it's gonna narrow things down a bit on that channel. I don't know how uh, long I'm gonna go off the front, but we'll tackle that. But uh, I made templates. All I did was trace the pieces that I cut, which are sitting right here, onto cardboard. And then I measured and got them all centered and taped them down. And then I'm gonna flip the wagon over, mark the holes, and then I'm going to lay those templates directly on the pieces of metal. And that should give us a really nice alignment and we should be able to use those in the future uh, if this works out without having to really line anything up too much. So we'll see how it goes. Got the uh, metal bolted down. As you can see, I need to trim those down, those uh, carriage bolts down a little bit. But um, one thing you need to make sure is when you're doing your template, um, that the template itself is square on the wagon and not the holes because these holes are not always drilled um, exactly on. They could be a little bit off from one another and just make sure that the template itself is square so everything come, else comes out square. But I'll trim those bolts down and then back here, you're going to uh, make that the height based on what your wheels are and how low you want your wagon. So if to the center of the wheel it's four inches and you want your wagon an inch off the ground, then you need at least three inch extensions coming down. I'd probably go three and a half just so you could put a bolt uh, a little bit down from the top and have a little bit more room. Uh, but off the front, I'm gonna go two 14 inch pieces, two 14 inch pieces from here out. And I'm gonna do another eight inch piece, make a big box. And that's what I'm gonna bolt my front axle on to. And then everything will just bolt right up to the wagon here. And as long as everything's good structurally, I'll keep it that way. The front's done and boxed in. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a problem in regards to stability or anything like that. It's, it's pretty tight. It doesn't seem to really bend much. And it's just gonna be sitting on top of an axle. So I don't think that's gonna be an issue, but if it is, <clears throat> I'm going to put another bar of the same size here. Um, you know, screw it to the pan and then weld pieces in and that'll be rock solid. But I think it's good as it sits. Got the pilot hole drilled out for the axle. And um, next I'm going to put the ends on here uh, for the wheels and I'm going to weld the studs to that. And I'm gonna make the axle for the front and weld the studs to that, get the stance and everything set up, get everything mocked up and on this, I'm going to also spray paint that black and the back axle as well. But let's get the uh, everything set up to mock up the wheels. Front axle is done. Just have to grind it and all the parts for the frame will be ready for paint. I am also going to extend the handle with this big old pumpkin piece of metal and uh, see how that ends up working. So yeah, now, now that that's done, it'll get cleaned up and I'll get everything painted and put together. Got everything all painted. Just did a quick coat of black spray paint. Um, also, if you're, if you're using square tubing and you're not cutting everything into 45s, there are some one by one end pieces you could put in there and it kind of finishes it off quite nicely. So yeah, next step, let it dry and put it all together. Phase one complete. Got those wheels off of a uh, golf cart bag carrier. Not even sure what they're called. Had a garage sale for $2.50. I'm 
I thought they were cool and different. Um, I ended up doing a little something different with the handle. But uh, yeah, you can see the, the black frame looks pretty decent. Kept everything else a bit crusty, which I thought was cool. Using the clevis pin up front was way better than a carriage bolt. It's smoother, it looks good. Um, you don't have to worry about the nut coming loose. The end caps really finish it off. I just think I like this wagon. I like the patina, I like the rust, I like the fact that it's old school. And it goes well with my truck, which also sits pretty low. Almost the same color, close. I, I think I'll take it, take the wagon to some shows with the truck. Yeah, this is cool, I like it. I'm going to do some more things to this wagon and I'll post some videos when I do. One of the next things I'm gonna do is try and build a motor. It's gonna sit right there on that frame. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna build it out of. I'm not sure how realistic I wanna look. Probably just get the feel of that it's a motor and nothing like to scale or anything crazy. But yeah, that's it. Hopefully you dig it. Peace.